Okay guys, uh, here we are again, another aviation video for you. But this time I've learned a little bit more about adding sound um, with the program that I've got. So hopefully you can hear me a bit more clearly. Now what we're doing here, this is a victory in uh, Japan Day celebration. And um, I'm just about over the top of the A30 now and starting a slow left turn to bring me into Bodmin Airfield, just outside Bodmin Town on the edge of Bodmin Moor in Cornwall and uh, I'm going down because there's a, a, a military reenactment day there today and um, they've asked military airplanes to go along and so here I am going in in a second you'll see Bodmin airfield coming up it's just on the left hand edge of the picture uh, now just coming into view okay that's the moor there and there's brown willy and the willy tours over there in the distance highest points in Cornwall Okay, and there's Bobman Airfield just coming through the centre of the picture now, and it's actually right in the centre of the picture, a little bit above the halfway line. You can see the runway now, which is directly ahead of me, and to the right of it you can see the club buildings, there's some parked aircraft there, and uh, just the side of the club buildings, and restaurants and control tower, and the hangars and the fueling point. Okay, I'm going to land to the left of those buildings and to the left of the parked airplanes. And as you can see by the offset that I have on the nose, the wind is very, very strong from the west at the moment. So technically we should be on runway 21 rather than runway 31. 31 is 310 degrees and it's just a few degrees left of, uh, of north. So it'll give you some idea of the orientation. Bodmin's away on our left at the moment and you can see Bodmin Moor away in the distance there on the horizon. Okay, you can just make out the runway coming up now. There's a, a boundary hedge to, and to the left of the buildings there you can now see the runway taking shape. You'll see the centre line coming up in a minute and there's be a large arrow on it and that's to tell me that um, I should land the other side of the arrow to make sure that I've got sufficient distance to pass over that hedge safely. Not just hedges, there's some quite tall trees there as you can see, especially the one coming up on the right hand side which is just about level with the wing as I go by it. There we are, you can see the aircraft parked in the distance and as you can see I'm lined up well left of the runway and the idea of that is that the wind is coming from the left, is shrouded by trees there at the moment. The moment I come past those trees it'll try to push me away to the right. And if I land on the left hand side of the runway then that gives me more runway to play with to get the aircraft under control. Okay, i am finished the landing run, I'm starting a right turn now. Okay, the stick is right forward at this point because the wind is behind me and the wind is stronger than the combined effect of the propeller thrust and the forward motion of the airplane. And the wind is so strong, the right brake won't allow me to turn to the right, so I've now got to swing through 360 degrees to the left hand side, through the point just there where I landed, and in a few seconds coming up on the left hand side you'll see the control tower and just to the right and behind it the restaurant and clubhouse. There's also a white um, temporary marquee there which is just coming up, there it is, and that's being used to produce burgers and things to feed the army guys. Okay, that was the control tower that just passed through, and there's the three parked aircraft. Two of them are Ronkers, same make as this one, but those are all post-war aircraft, whereas this one is a 1942 wartime aircraft. There we are. I hope you enjoyed the flight. There's another one coming up, which is on my departure from Bodmin, so I sincerely trust you, you enjoy that.